Waters calm near Halifax on Tuesday, but as hurricane season approaches, the Canadian Hurricane Centre says be prepared. The probabilities are pretty good that we're going to see an active season overall in the Atlantic. Top hurricane tracker meteorologist Bob Robichaud providing a 2022 outlook, saying we could see anywhere from 14 to 21 named storms this hurricane season. Of those 6 to 10 are expected to reach hurricane status, and of those 6 to 10, 3 to 6 um, <clears throat> will likely uh, reach major hurricane status, which is category 3, 4, or 5. He says it's impossible to predict where these storms will track or if they'll have any impact on land. Because where these storms go depend on, depends on the weather of the day. And that's what we're not able to predict uh, this far in advance. Robichaud likening the increase in storms to better detection equipment. But those on the front lines of climate change say... The increasing frequency of hurricanes, yes, absolutely linked to um, a warming earth. The scientific director of the Ocean Frontier Institute says the ocean is doing all of the heavy lifting, absorbing 90% of the heat humans have produced and 40% of fossil fuel emissions. A carbon sink, she says, may not always be there due to extreme events in the ocean and a lack of data surrounding them. We need to know how much more likely they are and whether or not they're going to uh, cripple our attempts to literally save the world from climate change. A warming earth, she says, affects us all, from industries like fisheries and wineries to individuals alike. Now we have to consider every September, October, whether or not we're going to have to batten down our hatches, fix our roofs, make sure the trees aren't going to fall over because hurricanes now hit us. Should predictions prove correct, this will be the seventh straight year of an above average number of storms. Ashley Field, Global News, Halifax.